Okay, welcome back to episode 16 of my Stationaires playthrough. Right, so last time we were expanding the HAB and we started building some hydroponics. We did also manage to breach containment. Um, but we did start building some hydroponics in there because we thought that would look nice. Or I did anyway. I don't care what you thought because you're uh, not actually playing the game. Um, well, I do care. That's very harsh. Um, however, I don't know what you think. Um, but... Uh, we were going to make this look nice in here, um, so I did also uh, produce a landing pad and a satellite dish because we thought we probably need to uh, get a trader um, to start to uh, buy some flowers to put in those. Um, now rather than just continuing to expand underneath there, um, I am going to go and set up the landing pad. So um, we are going to put a little pause on our expansion plans and I could get on with that. Um, right, how's this oven getting on before we leave? Um, okay, it seems to have cooked everything. We seem to have solved the uh, problem of everything jamming up. That's good. Might turn that off actually and save some power because it'll be a little while until this. Maybe I'll, you, you just shush over there. Okay. Good. Oh, we've got rice everywhere again, though. Seems to be a consistent problem with the rice. Well, to be fair, it's a consistent problem with just about everything. I probably just need to open this and throw a whole load of stuff out. But uh, there we go. Yeah, look, the tomatoes are here as well. It's, okay, let's quickly deal with this before we... Uh, outside actually which means turning the oven back on so that this stuff can cook we should also can anything we've got in here otherwise it's just going to rot in the machines which would be uh, unfortunate um, okay so what can we make some pumpkin soup right oh, plenty of pumpkin soup let's do that so uh, we'll get a couple more out of here tomato soup maybe oh yeah so we're getting a decent stock of food here now which is good, we can always sell some of that to the trader later on. Okay, I don't think we can make anything else now. Unless enough rice has come through whilst we were doing that. No, okay, well let's turn that off. See how this is getting on. What's it actually cooking in here? It's tempted to do corn, but we don't have any. Let's push it on. Okay, we got some rice done. There are some new logic triggers that I think we might be able to use to um, slightly optimize that IC code. Um, take a look at that. However, not now because we are going to build the landing pad this time. Oh, I thought we made two rice there. Must have imagined it. Come on, I just want this to go through really now. Okay, so we should be able to make a canned rice pudding as well. Amazing, and um, possibly we've got enough tomatoes. No, not quite. Okay. 
we will get to tomatoes in a minute. See, I knew there was some in there. As soon as we cook this tomato, hopefully it's doing it. Now I've slightly lost track of what it's cooking, honestly. Um, if we've got a tomato, there we go, let's do that. And then we'll shut it down. Because that is all our cookable stuff cooked. We've got one spare tomato in there. Lots of potatoes, but um, we need more oil to deal with that. Um, we should be growing some soy outside of there. Actually, we are. Um, so that we can grow that for the oil. There we go. Uh, in there. throw this in. Or, alternatively, I'll fail to throw this in. There we go. Right, I think that's enough oil that it will manage to make a, uh, a french fries now. There we go, look at that. And off it goes. we go. I don't know why French fries is repeated in this canning machine. It's quite strange. Anyway, there we go. I mean, canned French fries sounds frankly disgusting anyway, but uh, oh, there we go. Right, look at that. All these different cans of yummy food. Right, okay, let's, uh, let's get on with it. Right, that can turn off now. Um, we're not going to get through those potatoes or the flour anytime soon. Right, uh, before we go out, do we need anything? No, okay, let's go. So what we're going to do is we're going to set up the landing pad and the satellite dish. Now, I think we might put them over here. Um, I think I kind of fancy putting the satellite dish up high. Um, I realize that's making extra work um, and there's really no reason for it, but um, it just seems like that would be cool. So um, we're going to start with a whole bunch of, as usual, frames. Uh, and we're also going to need some cable. all of that into cable actually. Now there's a couple of other things we need um, in order to actually use the landing pad and one of them is a vending machine um, for which we'll probably want some shoots um, actually but I'll deal with that in a minute. Let's, let's get the structure built otherwise we won't know what we need where. Whoops. Okay, so I think I'm going to put the landing pad here next to the um, ingot sorter. Feels like a good place for it. Um, oops. frames we need for the landing pad. Why don't I go and get it out? Save some work later. So we'll put the landing pad down at this height because otherwise every time we uh, call a trader we'll have to climb all the way up. Um, there we go, that can go in there. But 
looks quite neat there. Um, but then I think we'll put the uh, dish just up a little bit higher. I don't want to put it too high because uh, otherwise it's a pain every time we've got to do anything with it. But right, let's just deal with this first. We need plenty more frames to see all that. Good thing is, once we've uh, put all these frames in, obviously it's giving us a structure that we can close in and build underneath as well. Hopefully, without even puncturing it. Right, so we need two more frames there. do is to put something perhaps here. I want it far enough away from the hab that any shadow that's cast doesn't interfere with the uh, greenhouse but I think that should be fine over there. And this is purely a cosmetic design choice. There is no reason whatsoever for building this up high. accessible for the uh, stairs that we will need, but never mind. more than that. However, that's a reasonable start. Let's do some stairs. This is obviously the sort of thing that you just do once you've actually got enough resources to uh, be able to build the basics because uh, it's clearly not the most efficient place to build this. I'm having to make extra stairs, it will use more cable, um, and obviously I've used extra frames, but, you know. Okay, um, I think for now let's just get these so that we can walk on them. Okay, 
it's a start. Um, those two there will still need some frame um, sheets on them. Right, that's also going to need steel sheets. So we're going to need at least a couple more. Oh, we're going to need at least four more actually. Right. Okay, so we need to put some stairs in. Right, okay. So let's uh, weld these up. Okay, um, so we just dig out a little bit of this because it's just a little bit difficult to see those connection points. So let's get the um, pad connected, first of all. This is where I'm going to need lots of wire. Luckily I've got some. Whether I've got enough is a different question. Because we're also going to need to run a whole load of wire up here as well, which if we bring down into that corner. run along here. Whoops, that was in the wrong place. So what we're going to do is we're going to connect oh, the landing pad and the dish. Um, obviously, as you can see, both through each other, but also we're going to be connecting them clearly to power. Um, but also um, we will connect them to a computer as well. Um, and then we're going to be able to use that computer, which will be down here, to uh, call traders in um, and then we will also connect up an IC unit which we'll use to uh, get the dish to scan um, so let's Connect 
there. Perfect. Put that back down. Right, okay, so we should now be able to at least power this up. Obviously it's not going to do anything, but we should be able to at least power it up. There we go, we see the lights came on. Nice, right, okay. So that's connected. Now let's uh, let's get this done up here. I'll have to get in underneath in a minute and connect that. Oops. Oh. Now I'm not quite sure where the connections are going to end up on the dish, so we'll put the dish up before we do the next bit. Let's go get the dish. Should have brought that when I got the uh, pad really, but there we go. Right, uh, I don't think there's anything else in there that we need right now. like an unholy mess up here at the moment but I think it will look better once we get the um... ah that's not big enough right okay that's fine what we'll do is we will remove get the right tool first thing we'll remove that one and that one that and I think we actually had another frame down here yes we did we're still gonna need some more but that's a start okay and then I think that we'll have to weld those but the dish will now fit oh, actually strangely the dish now will fit okay well that's fine that actually gives us a bit more space up here, slightly safer. And I want to turn it so that we can access the controls if we should need to. Okay, there we go. One dish. Right, we're going to need some more steel sheets and a couple of floor grates to uh, complete that staircase. some more iron because we'll also want a railing because safety forgot that after loading the save it doesn't dispense properly the first time you press the button Still not quite sure why that is, whether that's a bug or whether that's something in my configuration, but I think it's a bug. Right, okay. Three of those, um, and then we'll make some railings. Oh, I was doing that strange thing again where it goes straight back into the menu. Okay, I mustn't leave this running. We do not need 50 railings. I'm trying to think how many we do need. Uh, we need at least four on the stairs for the corners. Uh, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 
probably about 10 in ish. That'll do. It's probably 10 or 12 there. Yeah, there we go, it's 12, right. Okay, let's get to work. It's perfectly safe up here, I promise. see why we need the railings now because actually we will fall off otherwise. Let's have the industrial looking ones. And the same on the next layer up. Almost tempted to put one there but Okay, this must legitimately be one of the safest bases I've ever made now. It's almost impossible to uh, blow myself up or fall to my death. Um, almost depressingly so. Right, um, let's connect these together. and turn that on okay so what we should be able to do is by adjusting these we should see it move yeah there we go so that's working good now let's run down here okay so the next thing we're going to need to do is we're going to need to set up a computer and an ic so let's get those going Silly thing, right? Uh, we need some more copper. Of course, I used, converted it all into wire, didn't I? So that's copper there. Oh, that one did work after a reload. Okay, well, fair enough. I've got plenty of copper in there now. Right, um, so now we need the motherboard. Communications motherboard and we need an IC housing now we need an IC 10 okay so let's get these installed I'm going to put this computer down here. Um, we need to think about where to fit the vending machine as well. Right, get that in there. The other thing we'll need is the electronics to drive the dish, which um, I guess we could put here, couldn't we? That way 
everything's fairly compact. I have a feeling that the IC program also uses a light to show us what it is doing. However, let's turn this on. Right, okay, so you can see, oh, straight away we've got a, there is a signal there. Now we could manually go up the top and twiddle those, um, but we're not going to because we're going to put some electronics in to do it. Obviously what you'd normally do if you were going to use manual adjustment, you'd want the uh, computer relatively near the dish, um, but we're not going to do that. Let's drop that in there. Grab the chip. Right. Um, let's get it in here. Get this computer on. And let's go and find the satellite dish control. Um, I think this is one that I'm using off the workshop um, on the basis that I haven't found any way to make a better one. So um, why do so? Oh no, here we go. No, the satellite scanner is actually one that I have written. I suspect it's possibly based on other code, although I couldn't actually tell you whose now. Um, maybe it is mine, I don't even know. Um, that's unfortunate, I do try to always credit code when I've taken it from someone else, but this looks like Power I've coded control. it myself. But, um, on the other hand, well, I don't know. Anyway, uh, I will include this code somewhere, but I'm not going to publish this one onto the workshop like most of the others because I'm not completely convinced it's actually my original code and I don't want to take credit for someone else's work. Um, so um, if I can figure out whose it is, I'll put a link on the video um, to the right one. If it turns out it is mine, um, then I shall... Uh, publish it to the workshop but I think it is a, probably based on some code from someone else it may even be based on uh, code that Rocketworks published um, as they did with the uh, with the Amy um, okay so straight into an error which is to be expected we need to connect up to the radar we need a light um, and I think that's all we need yes but the light is actually a diode and that's going to show us the amount of lock on that it's got to the best signal or whichever signal it's chasing. So we just need a quick uh, light kit. Um, one of them. Oh, silly thing, come on. Okay, so let's put this. Uh, Actually, we could probably put it up here, probably look quite nice on this. So what we're going to do is uh, diode slide in there. We might as well turn that on and I'm just going to wire that up. It may turn out that where I've arranged all of these things is absolutely uh, a complete and utter pain. However, right, so we can see that that's on. Now let's get this connected up. I think I'm going to have to start breaking up the power circuits quite soon because if nothing else it's becoming a nightmare to program anything. Um, right, come on satellite dish. Seeing the solar panels reminds me that we have not um, fix them up after the last storm, so I need to do that in a minute. Otherwise the next storm will probably break at least one of them. There we go, diode slide. Okay, so let's turn that on. 
There we go, amazing. And you'll see the dish is now moving automatically and the slide is gradually adjusting um, as it uh, locks on to a signal. There we go, and you can see it's right. Let's, uh, let's look on the screen here. So it's locked on to this InfoSat. The InfoSats at the moment, at least, I think are um, entirely pointless because you just get uh, there was no response. So um, that's fine. I've just realized that actually putting the diode up there was stupid because actually the way to reset the thing is to press that will cause the dish to now go and lock onto the next one. So I should have put that actually right next to us here somewhere. Um, I think I need to move that. However, in the meantime, you can see it doing its thing. It's quite cool as it scans the sky for signals. There we are, it's picking some up. And hopefully, in a minute, it will find something and lock on and we'll find a trader keeps just catching them but not strongly enough to, to lock in. So what you can see on the screen here as it moves around obviously uh, more contacts appearing on the screen but the percentage is how locked on it is and you need to get it to uh, the high 90s before you can contact them. So you can see it's moving around. I think it's locked onto that InfoSat. Yep, yeah, there we are at 96. I now can press that and it will say there was no response. Um, Okay, I'm going to move that diode because actually otherwise every time we want to do this it's a complete pain. So let's turn that off. Um, it was just foolish of me. I kind of like it being up there. It looks quite cool, but uh, I'd forgotten that you have to click it. Almost as soon as uh, we powered the thing up, it, it came back to me that actually that was the case. So never mind. Um, let's tidy up the wire a bit. So let's put it somewhere a bit more practical, um, which I guess really means on the ground here. Um, I'm actually wondering whether it's needed to take that chip out and move it further back, because once the chip's set up, we don't actually need to look at it. Um, and this would actually be a better spot for the diode. I think we'll do that. Um, we can put the chip somewhere back here. I mean honestly once we've got floor grating down it won't really matter where we've put it but until then um, I'm trying to avoid tripping over it every time we go anywhere. Um, so let's uh, do this. So then we'll put the diode here. Oops, there we go. Okay, that's better. Now, um, actually I've still got some floor grates, so that's good. We can just clean all this up in a minute, but let's get this working first. So um, turn it on. So we know this needs to point at the satellite dish. This needs to point at the diode. Okay, so let's turn that on. Let's turn that on. There we go. Right, that's easier to use. Okay, so let's lay this floor grate down here now. Um, 
it's not the tidiest but it's a start okay so you see this is now locked on to another info sat um, no response that's fine but to get the next one we just do that and off it goes scanning the sky okay so it's trying to lock onto that mine right ores that's the highest percentage it's got we can see it's getting there come on there we go 95% so 95% oh we had it come on it's making it worse stop now right there we go so 95% we can talk to the trader. However, we don't have a powered vending machine. So um, for now, that's as far as that's going to go. However, if we're speedy about this, we can get a powered vending machine onto that network. And the vending machine is the tool with which we can interact. Right, we need Electrum. I thought we actually had enough Electrum Hydration for that. Critical. Um, okay, uh, uh, we need 50, so we've got 30. I've just realised that we've also run out of power um, because my lamp didn't turn on. Let's fix that. That's better. Right, okay, so we have got enough Electrum, it's just in the wrong place, so um, let's throw this through here um, and eject this here. Of course, we'll probably get tons of stuff flying out now. Okay, so I think the Electrum's in there now. Yes. Oh, pick up. Right, there we go. Better shut that machine, otherwise the next time we come to use it we'll have a bit of a surprise. Okay, put that in. And actually if we've only got enough to make one, I'm going to see whether the one we've got enough to make is the refrigerated one. Um, because it will be better if we need to... Uh, no, that needs much more. Um, okay, so let's just take a regular vending machine. Let's get this up and running. That's the first thing. We can uh, always upgrade it later. And vending machines can be useful. And actually, I might install a vending machine on the um, Harvey network as a buffer for all of those seeds. Um, I think that might be a smart idea because it will probably stop so much stuff coming flying out. Anyway, for now, let's build this. Um, so we're going to need to connect this up. Um, Yes, we'll put it over here somewhere so we may as well yank up that floor panel again I should have thought of that before I did it shouldn't I but there we go I'm sure by now you're getting used to me saying that um, and we will need to run a cable out this way um, actually I'm not going to do that until I have the vending machine in my hands and have installed it because I'm not 100% sure yeah I had a feeling it connected from the back right okay I'm gonna put the vending machine here um, give us a bit of space because we might need to connect up the uh, shoot network to it at some point in the short term though what we need to do is to connect power and probably data into the network that comes off here right I'm going to connect data anyway I'm pretty sure we need it and if we don't need it now we'll need it soon enough anyway so let's just do that look at that we've got enough cable just uh, oh, we'll turn it on as well, it needs to be powered. Um, Switch is on the back. There we go. Right, so that's the vending machine. We can see it's got nothing in it at the moment. It's ready to vend now. Hopefully, uh, he's out of range now. So the contacts do actually fly around. Um, see if we can 
get him locked back in and at least uh, have a little test run with a trader. Um, whether he's got anything we want to buy is a different issue, but there we go. Yes, okay, do it. Okay, so here we go. Our first trader should be visiting soon. Here he comes. There we go. And now we can trade. So once we go into the trade, you can see different traders have got different inventory. Um, so this is what we can buy from them. It will be delivered to the vending machine. If we've put things in the vending machine, we can uh, sell it back to them. Um, so there's not necessarily anything here I particularly feel like I want to buy. Most of it we could make. Um, so for a minute I'm going to cancel that. Um, but what I am going to do, so you can cancel out of that dialogue um, and continue it later, um, or you can click depart and they leave. But actually what I'm going to do is I'm going to feed in some of the stuff that we've got lurking in here that we haven't used. So I think these iron walls, we haven't used them. And um, perhaps, we'll, perhaps we'll give him some spray paint as well. Um, see if he wants to buy that. Um, so let's throw these into the vending machine. Um, so the input to the vending machine is on the back. And now when we speak to him, You'll see we have the uh, spray paint orange, um, which we have one of, and we can sell for 526, and we have 16 iron walls. So I'm going to go ahead and sell all of that stuff, um, and you'll see that will generate us 123.28 space dollars. Um, I'm not sure they're called space dollars, but that's what I'm calling them. So I can confirm that trade, and it will do it. Um, although I'm noticing an error and I have seen a couple of bug reports around traders being bugged on the latest uh, update. One of the cool things with Station is, is it does get pretty much daily updates, um, but uh, sometimes that breaks things. However, let's uh, let's hope this works. I'm going to hit depart and see what happens. No, he's not. Oh, is he going? No, he's not having it, is he? No, he's now broken. I know he may be going. I'm not sure. Is he going? Is he staying? No, he's going. Bye. Okay, now in the meantime, um, what we should have got, uh, but haven't, was uh, some money going onto our credit card. Although I notice our credit card is denominated in space euros, and uh, and the trader is denominated in space dollars. So um, who knows? Um, maybe there's a currency conversion problem. Let's try with another one. Um, he didn't take any of the stuff out of there, so I think the actual um, sell just failed um, completely. Um, so we'll try with another one. If not, they may be bugged. I might have to wait for the next hot fix. But um, we have got them uh, working. Um, as you can see, we've got a, a nice little system here that uh, allows us to call down a trader. Uh, there we go. It'd be kind of nice if this was sorted by uh, signal strength, but it doesn't seem to be. Um, I don't want to talk to the satellites. I assume that the satellites in some future version are going to give us something, maybe the location of an ore deposit or um, I don't know, uh, perhaps with the research system enabled, um, perhaps they'll give us uh, some future recipes. But for now, they're just uh, effectively um, waste of space contacts in this list that we just need to skip through until we find a good one. Um, we can filter this into uh, there we go, traders. So hydraulic hit. Let's uh, let's cool them down. Where is he? Is he coming? Did that work? Here he comes. Oh, there. Whoops! Walked into the weather machine. Okay, there we go. Right then, trade bot. Okay, so let's see whether he will buy these from us. He's not going to buy them for as much, so that's actually a bit d disappointing. Um, however, um, maybe he'll buy them for something, which would be good. I don't think there's anything again that I want to buy from him, but um, it's still useful just to um, 
Right, has that done it? Actually sell some stuff, yes, and there we go. So uh, we've established one space dollar equals one space euro, um, which is, uh, is good to know. So right, we've sold those, um, so we can tell him to go, and you'll see the vending machine's now empty. Um, and in fact, we can even have the satellite starting to scan for the next target. Gas trade. Okay, this might be an opportunity to sort out our nitrogen problem. Um, although I noticed that uh, nitrogen ice has been announced. So, uh, having said yesterday uh, on the uh, previous video that uh, there were gas uh, ice changes coming, um, they're not only um, apparently updating the graphics, but uh, there is a new ice type um, in preparation for. Um, having more complexity around having to have the right gas mix to avoid CO2 toxicity um, and uh, oxygen toxicity. Now I'm just looking at this and thinking, much as it'd be lovely to buy 300 moles of uh, nitrogen, um, actually he's got four of them as well. So you know we could buy quite a lot, but uh, look at that price. We're not even close to being able to afford that. However, I do wonder whether we could sell him not a very good price to be fair, but whether we could sell him quite a bit of CO2, because we have got quite a lot of CO2. Um, so that's a possibility. Um, we'd need to make some canisters. Um, perhaps we'll do that, uh, make a bit of quick cash out of our waste gas. Um, basically for the cost of a gas canister, which is 5G of iron. So let's give it a go. how many we can do but I'll make uh, four canisters and we'll see how we get on okay um, whoops walk into the wall why don't you Okay, uh, really must put some more floor gratings down over here. Uh, I'm not going to sell fuel. That feels like that's actually valuable. Um, right, let's... Uh, okay, so obviously uh, it's going to take a bit of time to re-pressurise the... Uh, gas dispenser. So we got slightly different amounts in each one, but you know, give it a go. I should turn these machines off. Okay, so again we need to feed these into the vending machine. Out and see whether he'll buy them. Oh, there we go. Well, it's uh, it's not amazing, but it's 400, so I'll take that. Um, that still leaves us uh, short to be able to buy any nitrogen, um, but uh, at least it generated a bit of money. So I might leave him here for now. Um, and, uh, and then maybe come back in a bit and uh, see if we can sell some more CO2. Um, I think that's probably a good idea. I'm just looking at his buy price on water and thinking actually that could be an interesting one as well. We've got quite a lot of water, um, so he'll buy that for a couple of thousand. Um, so I think we might do that. Um, we'll need to be able to actually fill a water canister so I'm going to need a couple of bits to do that I'm going to need obviously a liquid canister although we've probably got one somewhere um, but let's make one of those um, and then we're going to need a, a filler and we're going to need a at least one piece of liquid pipe um, 
not a filler of storage. Um, right, let's. Uh, Okay, liquid pipe. So we'll connect this up and uh, see what we can do. Um, obviously, his price is for um, 300 moles, which um, is a very full canister. In fact, I'm not even sure it's safe to fill a standard can to that pressure. Um, of course, that was insulated pipe, wasn't it? That was silly. OK, I can use these pipes inside and we'll just make one insulated pipe just to create a junction there. So that's fine. We need those anyway. Um, for the hydroponics where we ran out, um, we just need one of those, which needs silicon. No, it needs steel. Brilliant. Okay, well, luckily we've got steel. I do feel like I'm doing a lot of unnecessary running around now, though. Um, steel, thank you. In there. Let's make one of them. Maybe we'll make our space fortune from selling water. Who knows? I somehow suspect not. Whoops, especially not if I fall off the edge. Right, um, let's just uh, actually, oh, that was not quite what I meant to do. It's all going wrong now. So let's fit this just to the wall here, if I can get the right way round. There we go. That can go into there. If it'll drag, come on. There we go. And then we'll just get that over here. And I'm now starting to lose health because of my uh, dehydration situation. OK, there we go. So hopefully that will fill, yep. I don't know whether it's going to fill more than that or whether that is. No, that has filled. Right, okay. Well, let's give that a go. See what he'll buy that for. And then I probably better go in and actually drink some water. Oops. Okay, well, not brilliant. There's only 39 moles in there. 336. Still pretty much double our money though, right? So um, I'm going to do it. There we go. We can make more if we need to. Right, okay, so we're coming up for about an hour anyway. I think we've demonstrated the mechanics of, uh, of trading. I've shown how we can uh, use some of our excess resources uh, to our benefit. Um, And uh, we've got the whole satellite dish up and running. So I think that is uh, objective achieved for this video. Well, the sailor's going ever so slowly now. Of course, we probably could actually get rid of some of our huge excess of seeds as well. Um, that would not necessarily be a uh, terrible idea at this point. Um, I'm not quite confident enough that we've got uh, everything we need growing yet though, so uh, we'll just give that. However, what we have got is a very large number of tomatoes, so that's good. Of course, we could also start taking some of these cans of food and actually selling them, um, which would not be a bad idea. Um, actually, we've got a lot of it. Can we get that one? Yes. Can we get any of these? Maybe. That one. Can't 
actually get this to go on the hitbox to pick these up. No, okay, well, let's throw these in the machine. Let's power that back up, let it do its thing. Okay, there we go. So there's some liquid pipes that we can use in there. I'll leave them over there to remind me. So I think what we'll do next time is um, we will take some of these cans of food out and actually sell them. Um, so let's grab uh, some of the easier ones to make. At the moment, uh, other than the amount of uh, hunger they reduce, there's no difference between these foods, but uh, I suspect there will be in future. Um, okay, let's grab another pumpkin. We seem to have stopped growing pumpkins through there. Um, I wonder whether that uh, indicates all the pumpkin seeds have got stuck. Right, uh, we'll get the plants back on and then that will do for this video. Oh, many tomato seeds. Actually, I might try and, uh, if these edamame are available, I'm going to uh, harvest those. I'm going to actually use some of those in these as well because I'm keen to uh, boost the number of soybeans we've got so that we can get some more oil if we need it. So let's get those in there and into there. Um, let's pick up the rest of these tomato seeds and pumpkin seeds. Oops. Okay, the shoots are completely jammed up now. Perhaps I should be selling some seeds after all, I seem to have a ridiculous amount. Um, right, okay. Don't know whether I can even get in to get some of this rice that's gone down the back here. Possibly if I throw them over there. Um, oh, can't get in. It's not enough height between me and the uh, shoots, I think. There we go. Oh, I really want to pick that one up. No, it really isn't having it. Okay. Alright, well. going on there. Let's plant one of these tomato seeds I suppose if it's not planting anything else. Right I think I need to remove that corner shoot again and, uh, and unclog it. Buy for a mess. Oh no, not that one. Okay, so where's the blockage then? That's very strange. Ah, oh, it's blocked somewhere further back here. Um, I'm wondering if it's blocked coming out of the sorter. Because let's take that off for a minute and see what happens. No, okay, that is just strange now. Perhaps it has just got bugged. Let's 
I'm not quite sure where it's going wrong, but for some reason everything's backed up behind the sorter, but nothing seems to want to go through it. And of course it's very difficult to get in to actually figure that out. Uh, that one looks full though. Um, Okay, there we go, I think we found the problem. Right, um, anything else? Yep, a few more here. seeds I don't think we want to put through there because I don't want them to end up in the cooker really. Um, however for now hopefully that's it working again. Okay so there's plenty to cook in there. This is working again. Okay, that looks better. Good. Okay, right, that will do for this video. So um, we've got the landing pad up and running um, and the satellite dish. So now we can call down traders. We've done our first bit of trading. Um, and we have um, earned ourselves 758 space euros um, so that's a good start um, so we'll call that a day there um, I hope you found that uh, interesting and fun and I hope to see you on the next video